Okay, so now that we're able to send messages across clients, let's see how we can store the messages on the server so that even when the client is refreshed, that the server um, returns us the messages that have been in previous chat sessions, okay? So remember in the start of this tutorial series, I did say you need to have MongoDB database system installed, and we're gonna make use of that in this video. So first thing that we need to do is let's go to our command line here, Let's stop the Node.js server for a bit, and we're going to install the Node.js MongoDB library, okay? So do that by doing npm install MongoDB, and then we're going to do dash dash save, so it's saved in our dependencies list. So I'll just press enter and let that install, and I'll resume the video when it's done. Okay, so now that that has been installed, let's go to our server.js file, which is our server file, and let's do some configurations there. So one thing that we need to do is we need to connect to our mongo client so let's say um actually let's import that mongo library first so let's do mongo client and um, that's going to equal to require mongodb and um, we're going to get the mongo client property from that which is the mongo class and then now after just using the static folder here which is public let's do mongo client dot connect and uh, we're gonna have to connect to a specific url so let's format that url and the url by default after installing mongo is mongodb that's just like for example if you're working with laravel and you're connecting to the local host for your database so it's very similar so let's do mongodb colon for slash slash, slash local host okay and then it lives in port 27017. So our default Mongo installation has this port as the database port. Okay, so we're gonna do a forward slash node chat because that's the database name um, that I have created. So um, I'll show you that in a moment. So um, let's connect to our Mongo client here by passing in the URL as the first parameter. And then we pass in a callback, which is what will be called on subs um, and it's after we've connected and the callback gets to um, parameters which is error if an error occurred and the db parameter here so let's go to our mongo client i am using robo mongo on mac um, to help me deal with mongodb very easily and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a database so create database and i'll call it node chat because that's what we are connected to um, here so after connecting to the database server we're specifying the database name afterwards this forward slash here so after we have connected to the database server let's create a collection so we're going to do var messages collection since we're sending messages it's nice to have a messages collection so collections in mongodb are sort of like tables in mysql they're pretty much the same it's just different names messages collection equal to db dot collection so that's how you create or retrieve a collection so we're going to say messages and then let's move this code uh, this connection code up inside the mongo client connection here okay so after connecting to a user um, io dot connection we've been given a socket so when a user sends a message to the server using the message event instead of just sending a broadcast it broadcasting it to all the other connected clients we also want to save it to the server okay so before broadcasting, let's just do messages collection dot insert one. There's a function on it called insert one. And what do we want to insert? We want to insert an object with a property of text and a value called message inside that table or collection. And then we're given a callback here after the collection um, is updated with the new message so it's an error and a response as well okay so inside here let's do a console.log and say inserted a document into the messages collection okay so that's just what's going to be logged into our um, console here so let's start up the server now by doing node server.js and um, let's go to our applications here and we'll do a refresh and then we'll do another um, refresh here So now let's send messages from hello client um, from the Firefox client to the Chrome client and see if it's saved in the database. So I'll just send it here. 
let's go to our chrome sorry not chrome our terminal here it says inserted a document into messages collection and of course i made a mistake in spending documents so i'll just fix that okay so i'll just um stop the client here and i'll just um, start the server client as well again so let's go to our robo mongo here um, manager for the mongo database let's open up the node chart database and um, let's look into collections as you can see we have a new collection here called messages by default when you create a new database you don't have that um, any collections in it so as you can see we have this collection updated with the message that we just sent hello chrome client so let's send another one from here saying hi firefox and um, we'll see that that is saved into this database here again so let's update that by just pressing enter here surely let's just rerun this when i double click on messages it opens up another tab but um now the new message is saved there hi firefox okay so now that we have confirmed that we are saving messages into the node chart database let's go to the browser we still have one problem when i refresh we're not retrieving that that is the messages that have been saved so let's end this video here and we're going to deal with that problem in the next video and i thank you for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye